Hi, my name is Rick Gabriel. I'm the art teacher here at Holy Ghost Prep. The National Art Honor Society is gearing up for the annual Fine Art Festival on April 29th. This year, we'll be hosting time tours for the opening reception of the festival due to COVID. And so the National Art Honor Society decided it would be a good idea to make a video in order to reach a wider audience with their artwork. Before I introduce you to the specific project that the students will be speaking about, I'd first like to take a moment to say how proud I am of these young men for persevering through one of the most difficult school years in the past century. They're bright, talented, and they've worked really hard towards the goal of the Fine Art Festival. In this project, they were asked to choose one of the seven core components of a spirit in school openness to the spirit, commitment to service, concern for the poor, sense of community, global vision, academic excellence, and personal development. And after they chose one of those core components, they were to interpret that concept in a work of art. So each member will introduce themselves, the component that they chose, and say a few words about how they decided to interpret that concept in an artwork. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to the president of the National Art Honor Society, John Nieto. Hello, my name is John Nieto and I'm the president of the National Art Honor Society. For my piece, I chose to do personal development. The piece represents the past and the future interacting. The comforting hand is the future while the one being comforted is the past. I chose to use graphite pencils and a paper stub for this piece because I believe it's my strong suit. I was able to put more depth into the piece with the different shades of the graphite pencils as it adds more dimension into the piece and a little bit more emotion. Hello, my name is Nick Phillips and I am the Vice President of the National Art Honor Society here at Holy Ghost. Um, the core component of a spirit in school that I chose to depict in my painting is global vision. Um, as a young person at a spirit in school, I think that it's important to have an idea of the type of world that I would like to live in because eventually it will be my generation's responsibility to make decisions that will heavily impact the sake of the world. Um, this particular painting depicts uh, wind turbines located in the ocean to represent the ending of carbon emissions and the use of clean energy. Uh, the technique that I used for this painting was oil paints. Um, the oil paintings allow for an extended drying time, which gave me the freedom to blend more freely, which works really well with the softness of the sunset and the stark contrast of the wind turbines. Hello, my name is Mitch Demler, and this is my piece for the Fine Arts Festival. The core component that I chose was personal development. Uh, how I chose to represent that was through the story of Jacob wrestling the angel. Uh, I was inspired by Gustave Doré, who's one of my favorite artists when I saw his depiction of Jacob wrestling the angel. And when I looked more into the story, I saw all the parallels between uh, Jacob wrestling the angel and personal development. Um, it's about Jacob, the biblical figure, uh, and his struggle with God, and kind of overcoming something that's bigger than himself. Uh, how I chose to paint this was uh, through oil paints on a large canvas. Oil paints stay wet uh, for a very long time, so they're convenient, easy to mix, and easy to paint with. I've had success with them in the past, as I've also done a, uh, an oil painting on a large canvas. Uh, I just think it works really well with my style, which is very large and expressive brushstrokes. Hello, my name is Michael Ketty, and the core component I chose to work with is commitment to service. I chose to base my piece off the spiritual story of the spiritual missionaries sailing to Africa to bring light of God to the natives. The materials I chose to work with were pencils and charcoal. I chose to work with these materials as it creates a stark contrast between the light of the pencil and the darkness of the charcoal. I chose this to help the viewer get into the mindset of the Spiritans as they sailed into the darkness of the unknown. For style, I tried to make the ship look as realistic as possible and just opposing that with the surrealness and uncanniness of the sky and ocean. I wanted to do this to help to get the viewer in the mindset of the Spiritans and help them better relate to the struggles and fears as they were sailing to Africa.
Hello, my name is Colin Kalingo. I am a member of this year's National Art Honor Society and a senior art portfolio student. For our seven core components of a spirit in school, I decided to go with the core component of sense of community. For my image, I created a block printing of the crowd at one of our basketball games last year. I feel like it really just represents the whole camaraderie and sense of brotherhood here at Holy Ghost Prep which is a big part of the school's success and also why I enjoyed my time here at Holy Ghost. Uh, in creating this image, I used a block printing layering in which I had to carve out layers of this block print and also transfer ink onto a piece of paper every time each layer was a new color. And it's a very tedious process because you need to do multiple prints to find one good one at the very end of the process. Um, because each print needs to perfectly align onto each other when you're transferring it on. I felt the style would work well with the image because it kind of creates like an abstract, chaotic look of the crowd. Um, and just the mayhem of the crowd really comes out with the different colors and movement in the piece. And as a whole, I feel like it turned out very well. And I'm excited to display it at this year's Fine Arts Festival. Hi, my name is Dan Shalon. Uh, the core component that I chose to paint was personal development. Um, I chose to paint a, forensics, a scene from a forensics piece that I performed last year because forensics has been extremely important to my personal development here at Holy Ghost Prep. Uh, the piece basically begins with this character looking out his window and seeing a squirrel which becomes a metaphor for his life and the story that he goes on to tell which is the scene that I painted in this piece. Uh, I chose oil paints because they have an extended drying time, which allows me to mix them and uh, keep them in the studio for days, which really allowed me to get the detail that I wanted and just paint the scene as specific and as vivid as I could. Hi, my name is Drew Hansen. I'm a senior at Holy Ghost Prep and a member of the National Art Honor Society. For my project, I decided to um, choose the core component openness to the spirit which embraces the idea that we open our hearts to the Holy Spirit and God and I was heavily inspired by the uh, stained glass windows found all around Holy Ghost Prep which kind of tell a story so for my project I um, used mosaic tiling which I uh, cut up little glass tiles and cemented them down to a wooden board and I um, used grout to fill in the cracks Hi, my name is John Schroeder, and the core component that I chose for my project is a sense of community. And I chose to make a wire sculpture of a tie because when I walk around the campus and see everyone else wearing the ties, it brings me a sense of belonging. And it's such a basic part of my morning routine, and it really makes me feel like I'm part of the HEB community. Hello, my name is Gavin Shoebrooks. I'm a senior at Holy Ghost Prep and a member of the National Art Honor Society. The core component that I chose was openness to spirit. According to the gospel, the heart and the spirit are interchangeable. So I chose to make a clay heart and a clay key to represent openness to spirit. My name is Ruben Aguilar, and the core component I chose for my piece um, is personal development. Um, for my piece, I decided to do a four strip um, comic, a four strip comic for. Um, for my, for my piece, I decided to do a four-strip comic showing a, 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 a broken down student um, with his head down, with his head laying down. Um, throughout the comic, he slowly uh, um, lifts his head up and reaches out to the person um, uh, who's giving him a hand. And for personal development, I feel like it's important for um, someone to give a helping hand to someone. and having dependence on others because it's important to have a strong community around you willing to give you that helping hand. And um, for, for this piece, I used um, charcoal pencils and I used deco paper to give a ripped effect showing that the, the piece was ripped out from a, maybe a book. And um, I, used, I, I used a stylistic choice of drawing it in a more cartoon manga style to drift away from the seriousness of the topic of like, you know, being held down and being sad. And I, I wanted to reinforce this theme with very dramatic shading. Hi, my name is Pat France, and the core component that I chose was sense of community. 
I first chose to uh, represent a sports game with colored pencils, but I wasn't too happy with the outcome. I wanted more energy, so I then was inspired by abstract style and used oil paint to really get the chaos of the crowd and the energy to really represent it. Um, I chose uh, impressionistic style uh, using oil paint and um, I chose to represent a sports game at Holy Ghost because it's really important to me and a lot of other, other students in a part of the community. Hello, my name is Luke Slevin and for my piece I chose personal development. Here's a self-portrait of myself with the top half of my face cut off. The bottom, you can see all the blood here, as represents all the hard work I've put towards my high school career of the academics and lacrosse. Moving up, you can see that my top, head of my, top part of my head is all cut off. And that, be, that symbolizes COVID coming into everyone's lives and cutting it off and making everything come to a alert stop. Next, you can see that the plant above, that symbolizes a rebirth of the new year. 